بسم اللہ والصلاۃ والسلام علی رسول اللہ خاتم النبیین و رحمۃ العالمین از اسلام یونیورسلی اپلیکیبل ان دس ایرا ایٹ دس ٹائم ایٹ دا گلوبل لیول بیکاز سرٹن اپریہنشنز ار دیر ود دا ویسٹ دے ڈونٹ فیل اینڈ مینی پیپل ایون ان دا اسلامی ورلڈ دے ڈونٹ بلیو دیٹ اسلام از اپلیکیبل ان دس ورلڈ ان دیز ٹائمس یہ تو پندرہ سو سال پہلے کی باتیں ہیں The word is not like that. The word has drastically changed. It is not practicable and uh, applicable at this moment. So today we are going to prove logically and rationally this is equally applicable and workable rather the best system, the political, economic and social system of the world. There is no parallel to that. Because ultimately the world's objective is to create a welfare state and to create an egalitarian society. This is the objective of the world. If Islam claims that I can ensure the welfare state in the country and create an egalitarian society where the, all kinds of people have all kinds of opportunities to grow and develop and enjoy a respectable status in the society, that is the basis of the egalitarian society. The world is confronting with the discriminations, various discriminations going on in the world. Islam claims that I am that religion, I am that school of thought and philosophy, the political philosophy, the economic and social philosophy, which puts a big cross on all kinds of discriminations. whether the discrimination is on the basis of ethnicity the color the geographical habitat or the language it puts a great cross on that and number 2 when the discrimination is not there there is another emblem of islam or the point of pride with reference to islam is that it ensures justice meritocracy and fair play at all levels because you are not supposed to discriminate people you have to ensure justice adl kha uski zad mein aapki zat hi kyun na aa rahi ho because allah says you are accountable to me when you are enjoying a seat of justice you are being observed and watched by me whether you are discriminating or conducting justice providing justice to all and sundry without any consideration the person belongs to you belong to your religion even your ethnic background speaks the same language or he or she has hailed from the same geographical habitat no consideration at all wo to ise aage bhi jata hai if the person involved belongs to your own personal family and he or she has committed a crime you have to punish him this is islam and this is the basis of tell me is it not the basis of a welfare society and creation of a egalitarian society if it is so and islam claims that how can we say this is not a good system or this is a system which is not applicable at the moment Islam accords great respect to the female gender. Female gender has been discriminated throughout the human history. But it says if man is respectful, respectable entity, the woman is also respectable entity. And Islam grants respect in another way. It is so rational, so logical and based on reason and religion. How he injects that sense of respect in Islam. mankind in favor of the women folk that you are born out of the womb of a female in the name of mother and you know how much respect how much love you cherish and develop for your mother and mother ultimately she was born as a girl child if mother is born as a girl child and you don't accord that respect to the girl child is there any rational behind that this is the way how islam teaches us when she grows up becomes a mother and you are born out of a mother's womb then 
people will be asking you, should she be respected or not? Tell me. Maa ke liye to sare kahenge, she deserves all respects. Meri maa ko koi kuch na aath lagai. Kuch kuch na kahe. Kahenge na? To she was a baby girl child. She was born as a girl. Is female infanticide, if this was in vogue, I mean, in the pagan eras, is there any justification for that? Because the person who is burying the living baby child, at the time he forgets, I was myself born out of a mother's womb. Uswad bhul jata hai. Jis ke liye wo itni respect rakhta hai ke kabail se jange kar leta hai ke if you say even a single word against my mother, I will fight with you. But when she is born, so you are burying him in the dust. This is the basis of Islam, how much rationalized this religion is. This is my way of studying religion. Because all these rationalization is just hidden and ingrained in all the Quranic or the Sunnah words. When you look at the wives of the Prophet, Umm al -Mu'mineen, how much love and the respect Prophet granted to his wives. Ek ek ki se pada chalta hai. Kitni unko mohabbat thi umul mohmaneen se. This is another chapter now. Pahle maa ka ek level tha, a wife ka level ho gaya. And in the last sermon, why the Prophet didn't say, O oh, woman, take care of your husbands. The first sentence was, O oh, mankind, please take care of your Wives, your women, apni bivyo ka khayal karo, aap se sawal ho ga. These are the opening words of the last sermon of the Prophet. Bada chala ho kya hai, maashre ke masail ke hai, priority ke hai. Maashre ne to ab kaha status of women par article likhne huye, or universal declaration of human rights by the United Nations. Usne ka status of women ko issue banaya, gender ke subject ko prahana shuru kiya. इन्होंने तो अब जेंडर के सब्जेक्ट को पढ़ाना शुरू किया लास्ट सर्मन में प्रॉफिट कहते हैं ओ लोगों अपनी बीवियों पर मेहरबानी का सलूक करो आपने अल्लाह की गवाही में अपने अकद में लेकर गए हो सवाल होगा ये कुछ वीक एपिसोड्स में जाती हैं अपनी जिंदगी में बायोलॉजिकली वीक एपिसोड में जाती हैं जिसमें मर्द नहीं जाता मर्द तो बेबी कंसीव नहीं करता इसने तो बेबी को कंसीव करना है उस वक्त इंतहाई कमजोर पोजीशन में होती है क्यों क्या होती है कमजोर पोजीशन इसलिए कि वो एक लायबिलिटी को पार रही होती है शी इज कंसर्न नॉट ओनली फॉर हर सेल्फ एट दैट टाइम शी इज कंसर्न एंड कॉन्शियस अबाउट दैट शी इज कैरिंग इन वो उस बेबी के लिए जो बेबी को पाल रही है उसके लिए भी कंसर्न होती है इसलिए उसकी एहतियातें बढ़ जाती है ऐसी हस्ती की रिस्पेक्ट बनती है कि नहीं बनती कि उसको एक्सप्लाइट किया जाए कि वो आपका मुकाबला नहीं मुकाबला नहीं कर सकते क्यों कह दिया इस्लाम ने जंग में औरतें हों आपको तो नहीं पता हु इज कंसीविंग और नॉट इन पर हाथ ना उठाइएगा काफिर हों काफरों की औरतें हैं एलिवेट हुआ कि नहीं कौन कहता है ये यूनिवर्सली एप्लीकेबल नहीं है अखलाकियात के ये असूल माशरती ये असूल जंग है दुश्मन की औरतें हैं इसलिए कि कोई नहीं मालूम कि कौन से किस एपिसोड में है मे बी कंसीविंग ए चाइल्ड और वो चाइल्ड खाल के कायनात की रजा और मंशा से तखलीक पजीर हो रहा है और उसका एहतराम इतना है कि इसको हाथ ना लगाओ फिर एल्डरली बूढ़े जो आपके साथ जंग नहीं कर सकते उनसे लड़ना बहादरी नहीं है इस्लाम ने बताया बहादरी कैसे कहते हैं बहादरी उसे कहते हैं अपने मुकाबल और अपने जैसे के साथ जंग करो कमजोर से क्या जंग करनी इसी तरह बच्चे ये तीनों महफूज हैं आपके हिसार में आ जाएं काफरों से ताल्लुक है जो कौम आपसे जंग कर रही है उनके बच्चे हैं जब आपके पास आ जाए तो यूं महफूज हों जैसे अपने माँ बाप के पास महफूज होते हैं This is Islam. Who says not universally applicable?